going on everybody it's the spartan or ginger viking here today and i'm going to share with you a video on basic boot maintenance tips and tricks it's going to be a short video it's not going to be a fast one because this really isn't a subject that requires a whole immense 20 minute dialogue of it so without further ado let's get right into it so the first thing you're going to need to take care of your boots is going to be a nice boot brush um Boot brushes are available online. They're available at your local shoe store or boot store. Um, they're not very expensive. But the, the thing you use this for is when you have mud caked on that's on the boot um, or dirt, anything like that, that you want to just, you know, wipe off. So you would just take the brush, you know, get the mud off, you know, so on and so forth. Not really rocket science, but that's the first step is getting one of these. And you can always always use a boot brush throw it in your kit it never hurts to have one um the next step you want to do is you want to get yourself some proper leather cleaner and re rehydrator usually they're sold together in a bundle online um, i found mine on amazon the particular brand i use is the chemical guys um, so what you'd want to do is you'd want to use your leather cleaner first after the boot brush um, apply the leather cleaner in spots you know at a time and wipe it down with a paper towel paper towel or a uh, microfiber cloth um you know make sure it's nice and clean get anything you know any stains or anything out um then you move on from there you want to use your leather rehydrator or uh, conditioner give it a good you know um a good a coating of it you know let it soak in don't wipe it off too fast you want it to let it soak in um once that's done wipe up any of the excess with a paper towel or microfiber cloth um, and then you can move on to the next step, which is the light repair stage. Um, if you really want your boots looking new and fresh and clean, um, then you could, you have a scuff on the front or something. You could use this Kiwi, uh, scuff cover and you would then apply it to wherever the scuffs are, um, and, you know, wipe it in and then let it dry. Um, from there, you then want to go to your next step, depending on what you want to do. It's up to you. Um, you could then go get your shoe polish. I use this Kiwi shoe polish. It's available at my local store. I have no qualms about it. And just a little shoe applicator, um, a polish applicator. Um, obviously pop your tin open, dab the brush in there, and then it, apply it in circular motions, okay? Go throughout the whole boot, any leather you want to, um, and polish it up following the instructions on the tin. I won't go into a big detail. And then the final step that I think is the most crucial, and if you want to ignore all the other stuff other than just getting the boots basically cleaned, you want to pick up a can or bottle or whatever you can of mink oil. Mink oil is obviously, as it says, it's from the animal of the mink, and um, it's oil. And what it does is you will you put it on the boot, and it'll help with uh, re keeping the boot hydrated, keeping moisture locked in and moisture locked out, waterproofing, helping waterproof the boot. Not that jungle boots are waterproof to, to you know at all in the first place, but that's what that's gonna do. It's the mink oil is kind of a one-stop shop and will keep your boots uh, really supple, nice, and hopefully will be around for years to come. Um, so I really just wanted to put out this fast, uh, short video on boot maintenance because it doesn't really require a lot. Just some tips and tricks, and here's some reminder, I guess. Just a PSA, I guess, if anything. Um, sorry for the lack of content uh, recently. I've been a little bit busy, and I've had a little bit of dry spells with ideas. So if you guys have any ideas or things you'd like to see or a video that I've done that needs to be redone, just drop it in the comment section below. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything Vietnam, I'm happy to give information. I'm happy to help where I can. Um, I also have an Instagram, that ginger underscore quartermaster. Uh, so you can also DM me there and I'm happy to help with kits. I'm happy to help with information. I'm happy to ID gear if you don't know something. Um, I'm happy to tell you what it is and um, so on and so forth. Now, um, other than that, guys, if you really enjoyed the video and you did find some of the information helpful or some of the products I used, uh, helpful please uh consider giving me a like and maybe even consider subscribing it really means a lot um and it's been the ginger viking or spartan thank you guys for watching and have a great day